This is a short video that will show you how you can uh, manually defrag non-contiguous files using JPEG, uh, JPEG Digger. Um, it, JPEG Digger shows you a virtual cluster list, which is a list of clusters of the uh, area it's examining right now. And you will be able to select and deselect clusters that it allocated to a specific file. It's best to run this with uh, the repair file option enabled in advanced uh, options. We'll pick a file to demonstrate this. It's still a beta feature. Now the first thing you need to do is uh, get rid of clusters that are currently assigned to the file that contain rubbish. And once you've done that, you will have the, the bottom part of the image will be a solid, equal colored, mostly black block like you see here. And now it's a, a matter of trial and error. I uh, select a few clusters each time, click the test button, and then see if the selected clusters are a part of the uh, file we have so far. This is a matter of trial and error. You can see I picked run batches of clusters. And there is no guarantee, of course, that you will actually find the missing piece. It may have been overwritten. So this is purely a kind of last resort to restore those non-contiguous or partially recovered files. But again, there's no guarantee that the part will actually even exist. And also this window in which you can try clusters is uh, limited by JPEG repair. It's the uh, scan window that it moves over the uh, drive it is scanning from left to right, from the lowest LBA sector number to the highest. But experience learns that uh, these non-contiguous files, if they have, uh, if the if the other parts survived, so to speak, are relatively close by. So you can see I found part of a castle here, which looks like looks like it can belong to our file. So you can now grow this chunk. Uh, you can uh, you can grow it upwards and downwards so by growing it upwards i'm hoping to find the uh, missing link so to speak which have now now found the uh, upper and lower part now connect and basically then it's a matter of uh, keep adding clusters and grow the file until you got a complete file and we've almost got this done here so that's how you can uh, sometimes not always complete fragmented files